Hello, I'm Milty, and this is Pillars of the Earth. Uh, when we last left off, there was a little backstory, some history that was going on for England at the time. Essentially, it's uh, the king died, and he didn't have an heir, so there's about to be a huge succession crisis that goes on. And that's all we know for right now. If you're familiar with the history, it's, it's an interesting part of English history. I believe we're about to start a meeting, try and save some papers that are somehow vital to what happened, what's happening in the High Court right now. Where is everybody? They're not here. What the? The choir has finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. Oh, I'm ready. The chapter meeting is more important. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We all here knew him. So did you know him. I knew him well, and I know he would agree with me. Philip, you are going too far. I will tell brothers. Oh, let him speak. Brothers, please. Oh, wow. Let's hear what he has speak. to say. Oh, heavens. He has a tendency to do that. He lost his temper with me as well. And with me. Will you lose your temper again now, Philip? Well, I'm about to. Shush, Milius. I owe James much. He was the one who asked me to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision, then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me. Maybe none of you truly knew Prior James. <gasps> Who does he think he is? May the Lord forgive him. He knows not what he is saying. No. Philip was very hesitant to talk about the state of this priory with me. Usually, he is as careful in his words as he is in his actions. From some of you, I have heard that the devil walked by the prior's side. That James was followed by the accuser. Tell me, why? Why did he have to suffer? God was testing Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I know because Prior James confided in me. Then the devil had a hand in his last wish as well. I think this is going yeah, to see. Yeah, most certainly did It's not. all my fault. Oh, well, I'm not, not so the sure. The devil. If the devil has come to Kingsbridge, we must cast him out. He has come in the ways of neglect and self-righteousness. Let us look into the books and ledgers. 
Let us look into the problems that have ailed Kingsbridge for much I too long. We don't with that. Your meddling. Well, I suppose. Well, how dare you I agree. suggest that? <laughs> here, here. He is right. We should not make room for the devil. Neither here nor in our hearts. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes. He brought me a hot stone. That's our Philip. Very well, Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? We deserve the truth. What are your true intentions? I am here only to help this priory. Uh, this priory, of course. I say it is not a coincidence that he should make his voice heard now, shortly after James's passing and before the elections. What are you saying, Brother Remigius? This is not about James. It is about him. He wants to be prior. No. I came here to talk to James. I think that is a wonderful idea. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Oh. I can't disagree with that. Well, yes, obviously, uh, my choice. Excellent choice. What about Remedius? That's surprising. Great Prime idea. Philip. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? I guess that's a yes. Thank you for your kind offer. But we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remedius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Now, let us look for the letter. Alright, I'm gonna read this real quick. So there's probably gonna be a little cut in the video. Alright, so essentially there's two claimants to the throne. The church wants a King Stephen at, at this time, and then there's uh, the Earl Gloucester. Uh, his stepdaughter or something. Was a uh, mod, uh, mild mod. Is also running for the for the throne. So I look for this letter. I don't know what it contains. The handwriting on this tablet is hardly legible. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. Did Prior James write this? Let's continue looking. James spent much time writing in the last ten years. Instead of a prior, he became more of a recluse. That is what you monks do, isn't it? 
It used to be. Oh, there's the Francis, lady. I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come. And who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Robert or Gloucester. Name the day we will be ready to shed blood in the name of the Empress Mild. I and my bondsmen will ride against Stephen of Blah. Okay, I remember this. Like, you say, I don't know how to say this. I think it's a Blah. But that's probably butchering it. Anywho, we do not start the war, but we shall unleash it. Stephen himself started it the day he betrayed King Henry's daughter and took her throne. He and those who swore loyalty to him. Bartholomew, Earl of Shiring. Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Why me? Because you have to. There's no other way. Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My Lord the Earl of Gloucester can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? So they describe the situation way better than I just did, but... <laughs> All right. Who was that? Chapter two.
The Shoot Forest. Alright, Jack. Who's this kid? See so hungry? No, it's probably all decomposed. So there's a twig snapping noise. Oh. Would that really kill it? Doesn't look hurt at all. Oh. Yes. That's that's how you kill it. Spring us through the winter. My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. I was proud to have killed my first deer that day. And while waiting for mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. <laughs> he has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh, before him, not a single fort remains. <sighs> For him, not a single fort remains. Afternoon was approaching fast, and Mother still hadn't returned. So, if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own. Else it would all go to waste. There he is, Charles the Great, the protector of my town. You're coming with me.
Technically, they are considered outlaws out in this cave. That's why they're living out here. I can't eat it raw. I need to cure it. Meat goes bad fast. All right, so we need some salt or something. Maybe it's out here. Tools, very looked. See if we can go outside. Huh? What's that? No, it's just to smoke the meat. I can't eat it raw. I need to cure it. Meat goes bad fast. Looks like I'm going after the baby, though. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything to it right here. Just someone little. No need to be afraid. I'm going to follow him. You go home and wait for me, little cub. Did they leave the baby to die? Mother?
I don't think there's anything else I can do here. It says to look around. Let's go back. Ooh! Don't move. We killed a pig thief in Salisbury. We can kill you too. Bloody outlaw. Where's the baby? Did you eat it? <sighs> hey, stop that. What's this? Give it back. What do you want with this? You can't read. Give it back. Leave the boy be, Alfred. He, he took the baby. I saw him take Mother's cloak. He's the only one around. Who else would have taken it? Wolves. Found this. His Mother's cloak. The baby was wrapped in it, so he must have taken it as well. A monk took it. A monk? Yes, on a horse. Is that true? <laughs> Where did he go? He should take us there. Leave him alone. He's just a boy. What is your name, boy? Jack. Do you live in these woods, Jack? Then you know this place better than us. Please. I don't know why I left the child. I thought I couldn't take care of him alone. But I cannot leave him to die either. I have to know if he's all right. Will you help us? You're a good lad. I owe you. If you want your silly book back, you better keep your word. For now, I had no choice. The girl was sobbing while her father remained tense but quiet. The boy kept on pushing me, which confused me greatly. I had never been hated before. If I had any plans of getting away, it would be like hunting deer. I had to stay sharp until the others forgot to be. All right, well, this looks like a good place to stop and start the next episode. Thanks for watching and continue on if you want to see the rest.